what they are doing is just to get remove the regulator, petroleum reg, petrol regulator, and put gas regulator, and it tends to work. Okay. That's what we are seeing in generator set. But that is not supposed to be for generator, the LPG. Yes, it will work because they are all combusting. They can make the machine to move. They can drive. The element to drive those things are there. But are they the proper properties to use for such machines? The answer is no. And that is why for some of us, uh, if, for instance, you want to use it for a generator, they tell you bring 20000 to get a regulator that will drive it. But you find out that even the, 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 the quality of the performance of the, the generator cannot be the same, even with fuel. So something is not there. Like I told you that what constitutes CNG is methane product. What constitutes LPG is butane product. And these two products, they may be similar, but they don't have the same chemical components. So okay. that, that's one of the major error or call it that is not similar they are not similar although they look similar they are not and uh, i've always advised friends that because you are using it and it's working doesn't mean that it's the proper thing to use in developed countries like europe there are cng driven vehicles i'm wondering the cylinders of those cng are not the type of cylinder we use for domestic yeah gas mm. lpg the cylinders that come for cars that are made for CNG, fuel, products, are quite different. And are stopped in the car there. So there's so many parameters are considered before you bring them into the car. It's not the normal LPG cylinder we use that you put in the car. But for me, I, I admire the ingenuity of Nigerians to say as yes, LPG can power generator. Yes, it can power it, but is it the proper thing? The answer is no, it's not. Now, now we we have seen several warnings, you know, from the police, from the Lagos state government. Uh, we've also had stories of uh, people who have had um, some some accidents. Mm -hmm. Let me put it that way, yeah. as a result of um, um, a combustion gone wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, what can you explain? What do you think, or not? What do you what do you know is the reason why that has happened? Now, if, for instance, you are using something that is not proper okay. for that vehicle or for that equipment, definitely, if there's an accident, you get this product, you get this result. For, for instance, if you are driving a car with fuel car mm. and you suddenly go for some assault, until the fuel leaks out to a combustible property, it will not, the car will not explode. I don't know where I got what I I'm get saying. You. I get you. I have, so, until that liquid called petrol is exposed to naked flame that will ignite and probably burn the car. But in terms of gas, you don't see it. It can easily, if the gas is leaking, the only way you can know that LPG is leaking here is because there's what they call stench okay, yeah, yeah. introduced to the LPG gas. Ordinarily, if it leaks here, you wouldn't know. But that rotten egg like odor that you see is principally done in the refinery. And injected into it so that when it's leaking, you can know there's gas leaking here. Mm. That is why you see that rotting like odor or stent in the LPG gas. It's deliberate. We call it stench. You stench it so that when it leaks, if there's any leakage anywhere, you can know that yes, this gas is leaking. That is what most people don't know. Mm.